buccinator is a thin quadrilateral muscle occupying the interval between the maxilla and the mandible. And the mandible at the side of the face. Its purpose is to pull back and angle the mouth and flatten the cheek area. It aids in whistling. The levitator labi superioris is a broad sheet, the origin of which extends from the side of the nose to the zygomatic bone. The masseter muscle arises on the zygomatic arch, passes lateral to the broad surface of the mandible, and inserts along the angle of and lower part of the ramus of the mandible. Masseter is one of the muscles of mastication. The mentalis is a paired central muscle of the lower lip. Situated at the tip of the chin, it raises and pushes up the lower lip, causing wrinkling of the chin as in doubt or displeasure. It sometimes is referred to as the pouting muscle. The occipital frontalis is a muscle which covers parts of the skull. Assisted by the occipital belly, the frontal belly draws the scalp back which raises the eyebrows and wrinkles the forehead. Orbicularis oculi is a muscle in the face that closes the eyelids. The muscle acts to close the eye and is the only muscle capable of doing so. The obicularis oris muscle is the sphincter muscle around the mouth. It consists of numerous strata of muscle fibers surrounding the orifice of the mouth, but having different direction. The obicularis oris aids in pursing the lips. Temporalis is one of the muscles of mastication. The muscle is accessible on the temples and can be seen and felt contracting while the jaw is clenching and unclenching. Try and clench your jaw right now. You can feel the temporalis. As seen on the letter G, the zygomatic major is a muscle of the human body and a muscle of facial expression, which draws the angle of the mouth superiorly and posteriorly, like a smile. The zygomaticus minor can be seen on the letter F. It is muscle facial expression. It originates from the malar bone and continues with the orbiculus oculi on the lateral surface of the labator labali superius and then inserts into the outer part of the upper lip. Do not confuse this with the zygomatic major, which inserts into the angle of the mouth. It draws the upper lip back upward and downward, which makes sad facial expressions. Zygomatic minor. Buccinator, in between the maxilla and the mandible. 
Lavatator labis superioris, side of the nose to the zygomatic bone. Masseter, zygomatic arch to the mandible. Mentalis, occipital frontalis. Orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis oris. Temporalis. Remember, clenching the jaw. Zygomatic major. Remember, it's inferior to the zygomatic minor.